Over four years after the deadliest maritime disaster in recent U.S. history, a verdict for the captain of the Conception boat that caught fire and sank off the coast of Santa Barbara. Today, the captain of the dive boat was found guilty in the deaths of 34 people. KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict is live in downtown L.A. with reaction from the victims' families. Joy. Yeah, Pat, I mean, this was really an emotional day, but it has been an emotional four years for so many families who lost loved ones on that ship on that fateful day. This was the end of what was two weeks, a two-week-long trial that ended this afternoon with a guilty verdict. My sign reads, I will never get to kiss my grandpa or my three aunties, never, ever. It was a sea of photos and heartfelt grief. As family members lined the steps of the federal courthouse in downtown Los Angeles after a guilty verdict inside in the trial of the captain of the dive boat conception. The verdict gives us a chance to slowly start to heal. Um, it will never bring her back, but it gives us a sense to heal. Robert Kurtz lost his daughter on September 2nd, 2019, as did the families of 33 other people when the ship caught fire and sank on a three-day dive excursion. This is a win that we've waited for for a long time, for over four years. The captain, Jerry Boylan, was found guilty after just a few hours of deliberation. As the jury decided, he was criminally negligent. This tragedy did not have to happen. It could have been avoided. Prosecutors argued Boylan failed to appoint a roving patrol to keep watch that night for dangers and failed to train his crew how to handle emergencies like fires on board. This ship had not one but two different fire stations with powerful hoses and pumps connected to the ocean with a limitless supply of water to fight a fire. But the captain failed to train the crew and those pumps were never used. I don't know what caused the fire. Uh, but it doesn't matter. There's rules in place to allow people to be safer on the water where you have no 911 next door. And he broke those rules, not once, not twice because he was shorthanded that one night, but constantly for 30 years. Captain Boylan called in for help and then abandoned ship, ordering the four other crew members to also jump before even sounding the alarm for those sleeping below. We are so relieved tonight to know that we didn't abandon our son and 33 others like Captain Boylan and the crew did. And although this verdict is just the beginning, these families say it brings them one step closer to healing. The world knows Jerry Boylan was responsible. Someday I hope he realizes it. I'm sure he didn't want this to happen, but his negligence caused it and he needs to be held accountable for it. Now, Boylan is scheduled to be sentenced on February the 8th. Many of the families that spoke out here this afternoon, this evening, say they are hoping that he will apologize. They say they are not sure if they'll ever hear him say that. He did not speak at this trial at any point. He is facing up to 10 years in federal prison. Pat. All right. Thank you so much, Joy.